be all about me. Don't, don't let me become stingy and selfish in my season. Oh, can I tell you one more thing? And that is, you know, I've seen folk who have arrived at what they call their season. And what, they, what happens is, if they're not careful, they become what I call spiritually arrogant. You know, we tend to forget where we came from. Uh, just because the Lord has elevated you from drinking when you see somebody else that drank, we act like we don't know nothing about what they're going through. You know, we, we all of a sudden, we forgot where we come from. No, I can't sit by certain folk and I can't talk to certain folk. But my brothers and sisters, let me remind you, grace has been good to us. And all I declare, if it wasn't for grace, some of us would still be in those same positions. But the grace of God has found us and brought us to a brand new season. It brought us to a brand new place. And I want to tell you, don't you ever forget where the Lord has brought you from. You may be in this new season, but don't forget the last season. You may be in a new season, but don't you forget where you came from. Just use it as a testimony to tell the world that wherever you are, keep on trusting. God will make a way. Keep on praying the Lord will make a way. Uh, as we look at these seasons and obtaining this faith, I want to say to you, don't you ever give up in the place where you are right now in your life. No matter what you're going through right now. I want to tell you, keep your eyes on the prize. Stay focused on the fact that the Lord is going to bring a brand new season. As a matter of fact, I tell you, you just like the seasons of the year. We find that suddenly they are constantly changing. It doesn't matter what's going on now in our lives right now. We know that the seasons are always changing. It doesn't matter how good life is right now. We know that the season is always going to change. It doesn't matter how the sun may be shining. I want to tell you that the season is certainly going to change. And I want to remind you uh, that your victory is not in what you have. But your victory is in who is on your side. Yeah, Lord. There is a little story that goes uh, that there was an old man in a neighborhood who had the raggedest house in the community. And we find that uh, every day he got out um, with a bucket in his hand. And uh, he would have a few fruits and vegetables uh, in the bottom of the bucket. Uh, but everybody noticed that this old man was always filled with joy. Now, yeah, Lord, um, he always uh, kept a smile on his face uh, and uh, a song in his heart. Uh, he went around uh, from door to door, uh, checking with everybody uh, to see who would buy uh, some of his produce. Uh, yeah, Lord. Uh, he went by uh, the house of a new young Christian couple uh, and he knocked on the door. Yeah. The wife went to the door yeah, and saw the man standing there. Uh, clothes were ragged and worn uh, but he had a smile on his face uh, and he had joy in his heart. Uh, she went to the door. Uh, he said the Lord is blessing me right now. She looked at him. He said, would you like to buy something from this pail? She said, not today. But God bless your heart and have a good day.